Well, some startling and some disturbing numbers to report tonight. Out of the 611 Oklahoma City Public School students who failed the controversial third grade reading test last year, only five who took the test recently again to move on to fourth grade passed it. News 9's Dana Hurtnicki tonight has been looking into what's going on here. Dana? Yeah, Alex, that's despite the fact that the school district says they put a lot of effort to try and help these students learn to read. Can you tell me that in a sentence? Over the summer, third graders who failed that state-mandated test were offered through the Oklahoma City School District an intensive and specialized reading academy to help them catch up and move on to fourth grade. Then we have another really delicious S word called slumbered. Yet despite the academy and other efforts by the district, an overwhelming majority of students, 606 out of 611, couldn't pass an alternative exam by the November 1st deadline that would allow them to immediately move on to fourth grade. But education experts say the more telling number is the number of kids who actually took the test. 74. I think the concern is when you've got over 500 children that no one um, helped a 9 or 10 year old take advantage of the opportunities to go ahead and pass the test, that needs to be dealt with. In a statement, an OKC district spokesperson says the district's curriculum department is working with teachers and principals at all levels to improve the reading instruction and strategies being taught in the classroom. But OEA President Linda Hampton says this goes beyond the classroom to language barriers, financial problems, and other issues at home. These children come to school sometimes with a lot of baggage, and we have to look at that as part of, part of what they are and who they are. Lisa Delgado, a literacy specialist and teaching professor Forever. at OCU, agrees. Kind of hard, right? I think that it indicates that there's a bigger problem that's going on in public education. A problem that Hampton says can't be solved with the current formula. I think we need to stop focusing on testing and we need to focus on children and they are two totally different things. The district says they offered that alternative test nine times since July. Alex. All right, Dana, thanks. We've also learned that of the 1,200 spots that were available at that reading academy, only about 450 students in total participated.